Welcome back to another real life player build in Eshul. I'm not going to waste any of y'all time. We got a goalie build today. Carry Price from the Canadians. Let's just get right into game one for y'all. Hey, yo, hopping into game one, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm fucking up on the game audio. I have to plug my chat cable in. All right, so I got my chat cable plugged in now, y'all. Sorry about that. Let's give a proper intro. Welcome to game one. On the carry price build, I think this build is going to be arguably the best goalie build in the game. I literally was just playing in practice, and I promise y'all this build is something fucking different. And I'm going to show y'all that in these two games, trust me. So. I'm going to show y'all that in these two games, trust me. Alright, not a good start to the game, y'all, but fuck it. We'll bounce back. Hopefully our boys got our backs with some goals. Definitely not playing carry price like yet. That's for sure. It's first game on though. I probably should have played a warm up or something. But fuck it. Let's go. There we go boys. Knew the boys would have my back. First period wasn't the greatest y'all. Um, shit if we not make him more saves i don't know if we're gonna be able to even use this game for real because we need to we need to make some saves out here there we go that's what we like to see big fucking save let's go let's go come on oh that's a great pass that's a great pass oh yeah stay on ew let's go and the boys get another one Oh, I was gonna go for that Big pad stacker Okay, and then we let that in I should have slid I was about to slide I should have Go spot get in let's go he walked it in Let's go Let's go gotta make some big saves gotta make some big saves Snag baby Oh, yeah, and we pass those out because it's fucking June, boys. If you're not passing out in June, I don't know what the fuck you're doing, goalies. Come on now. Walk his ass, walk his ass. Big save. Oh, I was trying to get that up. I tried to get that up. I saw Spud ass naked there. I had to go for that. Fuck. Well, hey. Shit. Big time save. Big time save here. Let's go. Slide, fuck. And yeah, I'm just saying, goal is definitely not my main position. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. Jerry. So I'm sorry, I know I probably should make a lot of these saves. I know some of y'all goalies are probably fucking screaming at me right now. I'm not a good goalie. It's not my position. I'll be the first one to fucking admit it. So, but regardless, I mean, I should make the saves. Like, I do play goalie. I'm literally standing in the fucking net right now. So, I should make some of these saves. Woo. That was scary. I can't lie. I was <laughs> I was nervous at the end there. Was, Let's go, fellas. Need a big third from the boys here. Making a decent amount of saves. Definitely should be saving a couple more, but I mean... Hey, fuck it. There we go. Hey, come on. We gotta keep the team close. Gotta keep the team close in any way we can. That's what carry price does, and y'all saw literally just how impactful he was considering... He's in last year, all last year, stays pretty much healthy, and they literally make it to the cup. This year, they get rid of, obviously, he wasn't the only fucking player that was an issue or anything. They got rid of a couple people, I'm pretty sure. But a big fucking X factor was the fact that Carey Price got hurt this year for the Canadians. And, I mean, shit, to go from the worst team in the league, Stanley Cup contenders to the worst team in the league... That's got that's got to be painful. It has to be. So I feel for y'all Habs fans. I really do. Cool, oh, big save. Holy dudes are just ending up with the puck in front. I swear to God. Big saves. Come on. Carey Price making some big saves. At first we were. I don't think we made any saves in the first. Maybe one save in the first period. 
We're get we're facing some shots the second and third. That's all I'm gonna say. We're definitely facing some shots, but that's good. Now I can show y'all what the build's actually made of. Y'all see, as long as y'all are in position, y'all are gonna make most of the saves. This build is really fucking good, and we're about to face another penalty shot. So hopefully I'm able to save this one for y'all. Try and go for the fake fly right here. Oh, he tried to embarrass me. I respect that. Like I said, I'm not a very good goalie, but one, my biggest thing that I've learned is to come out of my water. That's what all my goalie friends fucking tell me. Let's go. Big saves. Come on, Melman Price. I just had to get a little warmed up, y'all. There we go, boys. Great play off the draw. Big saves. Come on. Price Meister. Oh my gosh, dude. They just literally all try to fuck each other. Oh. Oh. Let's get something. Hey, let's go. P shot for the boys. P shot for the boys. Who is this? Spud. A vagina. A vagina. Come on. Come on, Spud. Come on, Spud. Let's go. Let's go. I guess he's just not using any. Oh, no. I mean, that works, though. Keep it down in their zone. Keep it in their zone. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Boys clutched it up at the end there. Car oh, Spud. Give me a Emotional damage. Damn, Spud. Damn, <laughs> I went for it. I went for it. Let's just close this out. Five seconds. There it is. Let's fucking go. GG's, GG's, GG's to that other team. That was a hell of a game. Hey, yo, but that's going to wrap it up for game one. I'm going to show y'all how many saves we made and shit real quick. Hey, 16 saves, 760 save percentage. That's pretty solid if I do say so myself. But, yo, that's going to wrap it up for game one. Let's hop right into game two for y'all. Let's get it. All right, y'all, let's get it. Hopping into game two, we subbed in the man, the myth, the legend, Matty Beast Mode. If y'all know who he is, you're a real one. If not, y'all got to be following the Twitch. Going to be linked down in the description below. Live every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, 8 to 11 Eastern time. Maddie's a fucking goat from the streams, though. No cap. I don't know if y'all peeped either. We did actually match up against the same exact team. So shout out to these boys. I mean, they put up a good fight last time. I respect it. If if we don't end up winning this game, though, we're definitely going to have to run some shit back for game three. Whether we do it in or not in this video, we're going to have to do it. Because, uh, shit, can't tie a series, right? But, I mean, hey, let's just beat them 2-0. Let's get the brooms out, hopefully, and let's uh, get this fucking dub, boys. Big save. Let's go, baby. I was low-key not in position. Carry Price, though, you know he saved shit. Got that fuck. Mm, snag that shit. Go. Great pass, Matty. Oh, he's... Oh, what? How did that stay out? How did that stay out, game? He skated into the net. Did he fucking hit a wall? What the hell? Oh, that's a good shot. I cheated over too far. Damn it. Ooh, it's a good shot, Loki. Can't even lie. No. Fuck. Okay, come on. Let's go. Big save. Need a big save here. Damn it. And flying poke it all. Let's go. Just got a piece of it. Oh my gosh. I mean, okay, I guess. What the hell are we doing? What the hell are we doing? Hey, not the best period to say the least, but it's all good. We bounce back. It ain't, it ain't about how you start, it's about how you finish, right? That's what they always say. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> hey, yeah, let me show y'all, though. Y'all see how I'm kind of, like, lagging on these face-offs? I know everybody knows the face-off lag glitch now. I'm going to show y'all how to fix it. Y'all see it now. 
I'm gonna show y'all how to fix this shit. Anyway, as y'all see, all y'all need to do is, ready? Home screen one, home screen two, and home screen three. And now the next time y'all are gonna see, I don't get any type of face off lag. We all good after that. So if y'all were wondering, that's how you fix the face off lag glitch. I saw that shit coming from a mile away. Ew, good fucking pass. You know, like I was saying, Carey Price really showed that sometimes attendee can make or break a fucking team. Imagine the Oilers with attendee like uh, Carey Price rather than Mike Smith. You think that wouldn't be a, uh, a Stanley Cup team right there potentially? Come on now. I could definitely see them winning the Cup if they had Carey Price or something. I don't know if, if Carey Price stayed healthy, would the Habs have won the Cup this year? Do you thought? Do y'all think they would have actually had a chance? Good fucking goal cheeks. Do y'all think they would have had a chance, or do y'all think it would still be the same way that it is now? They'd still be the worst team in the league. Shit would have just played out the same exact way. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments below, though. Cause I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if they were cut bound, but I definitely think they had a lot of potential with Carey Price in. I know that they were a younger team, so I don't think they would have beat the Lightning to be honest. Or, I mean, I don't think that would be Colorado, my fault. But uh, I definitely think that team had a lot of potential. A lot of young guys, though. But I just think the Avalanche are just such a good team. I don't think anybody's beating them, not even the Lightning. I think Avalanche are taking that one in six, to be honest with y'all. Damn. Let's go. Big save. Knew that, dude, people with Heat Seeker, yo. Y'all attendees, if y'all are new to attendee or anything, if people got on fucking Heat Seeker, just know they want to shoot it 95% of the time. The puck's in their in their hand. In on their stick, I mean, my bad. Y'all he they always want to shoot that shit. So every time you see somebody with Heat Seeker back at the blue line, step the fuck up. Trust me. Need another big third from the boys. I mean, it's a tie game. This this is where champions are made as always. Shot. Yup, I mean, sometimes there's just nothing you can do. It really isn't. I mean, hey, we got made big save there. Now we just got to come up with some big ones on the P shot now. Yeah, I'm going to try and go for like a little fake fly here. Let's go, baby. There we go. All right, P shot. We take that. I was going to say, we have no shots this period, but this will at least be a shot for us this period. <laughs> Let's go, Cheeks. Let's go, boy. The fucking play. Hey, listen, the boys try and show out for the videos, which I respect. But, oh, no. No, we need to touch that puck, guys. We need to touch the puck. We need to touch the puck, because if they get this last shot and they score on the penalty shot, no bueno. Come on, guys. Good play. Go. Maddie. We sold. Oh, my gosh. Choke of the year. Hey, GG's to those boys, though. I mean, yo. Y'all see, we had 16 saves that game. This time, 800 save percentage. Melman Price played out of his mind. That's all I'm going to say. They can shit on me all they want in that. But Melman Price really fucking showed out these games. Y'all see, they had nine more shots than us. Melman Price just showed up and showed out. Let's get right in the bill for y'all, because this shit is fucking OP as hell, y'all. All right, y'all, and here's the carry price build that we did decide to go with. He's a hybrid goalie, 6'3", 217 pounds, his actual height and weight, of course. We gave him post-to-post -post as his own ability, because he is very good at uh, saving those one tees and stuff, and getting from post-to-post -post very quickly, and this ability does help with that a lot. He's also really good at controlling rebounds, which is why we gave him sponge and contortionist as well because he's really good at making some acrobatic saves as well as just crazy saves in general and you all can see the attributes and stuff that we decided to give him gave him very good speed very good vision very good breakaway very good recovery because he is extremely well at all of those things 
Uh, you could say that maybe he could be a butterfly goalie as well. He does drop down in the butterfly a lot, but we decided to go with hybrid because that is what he is in shell. And also, I think that the hybrid goalies overall just play better in Eshel, so that's why we decided to go with that. And y'all can pause the video now and copy some of the attributes and stuff if y'all need to. And I will see y'all boys in the next one. Hopefully y'all did enjoy. Please drop a like, comment, any other players y'all want to see down below. Also, sub what nobody's on so y'all don't miss another player build. See y'all in the next one. Peace.